Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bidami and this is XCOM Chronicles, a show that chronicles my war effort against the alien invasion. But it also doubles as a painting show, where you use aliens as paint buckets and use their intestines to decorate the surrounding area. As you can see, our tonight's paint bucket will be a chrysalid. A creature so vilely disgusting that our cameraman doesn't even want to get close enough for it to get a better view. This is as close as I can get him, so we'll take a quick look at, at what the species is. As you can see, this is a arachnoid-like creature. Well, not an arachnoid. It's more of an insect-like creature that, if if the build of it resembles it resembles an ant, and I'm guessing it's a hive-like creature as well, due to the fact that it infects other living creatures and then reproduces by larva, which develops inside the dead body and then grows bigger into a chrysalid, which starts starts the whole process over. Now I'm not sure if this is a alien reference or or some bacteria. Well, but it's still not a creature I would like to fight. That's a given. And anyway, as we progress through the sh through the show, I would like to thank the c several council members who took the time to actually give me some advice as to how improve my my vocal performance and how to perform the a better show for your viewing entertainment. As you can see, I am. Yeah, I'm trying to speak more comprehensibly and failing at it miserably. But practice makes perfect. So for now I'm just gonna try entertain you as much as possible and I might do it by giving you a compilation of just kills in this episode basically. So for now I'm just gonna shoot this chrysalid and do a quick recap of, this, of what happened. For one, we uh, were still in Newfoundland which is infected by chrysalids. They are spawning from sharks and large fishes, and we're about to, and we're close to the target area we we have to destroy. For now, I'm just going to finish off this alien, make a quick cut, make a quick cut, and a compilation of kills if there are any other aliens nearby, and we will continue on from the. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed the kill cam show. This, there were a lot of, a lot, a much bigger number of enemies than I expected, but we managed to kill most of them relatively easily. There was also a pot of thin men, which are something of an equivalent of Men in Black, which, which is not only a successful movie franchise but also an urban myth that there are people in black suits and black Cadillacs, Cadillac, Cadillacs, that come to your home if you start talking about aliens. Anyway, we managed to kill off a lot of chrysalids and I think I earned a couple of promotions for for my men, but the main event is starts here. From this point on, I'm sending only one of my soldiers, this is, I mean the assault trooper, in order to initiate the self-destruct sequence of the ship. This ship was infested by chrysalids and it, it is a fishing ship. Luckily it's not a yacht. If it was a yacht, I would probably be in deep, in very deep shit. This is mostly due to the fact that in older games, in older okay. XCOM games, you had, well, yacht missions which I'd were populated by, of our yeah, 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 I know, worse than we could have imagined. were and populated by a lot of people, and once the chrysalids got their hands on them, or in better case, in, in a more accurate term, their claws on them, the infested people would turn into zombies, and I'd have a zombie infestation. Our sensor readings are picking up a whole lot of activity yeah, yeah, yeah. inside the hold of that ship. I think you're about to have a lot of company headed your way. But nothing you've got on hand okay, is going to be enough uh, okay, for this Okay, Bradford, one. shut what up. We need we... is an airstrike. If you can reactivate that yeah, ship's this transponder, is... we can have air support pinpoint Tran your location yeah, and ship take transponder or self-destruct sequence. We have a new objective. As you can see, I positioned my men in a in a manner pretty favorable for my ex for my escape. Two troopers are already covering the the control the control house a sniper and a gunner and a heavy gunner are on top side so they can provide support and the assault is about to 
enter and then exfiltrate as quickly as possible. Exfiltrate the area as fast as possible. So let's. Oh, come on, mouse. Work, work, work. Come on. Okay. As you can see, I have to. I'm gonna work fast on this one. If the mouse would cooperate with me, Location? me, I would be grateful. Okay, we're in position. The chrysalid will probably run towards me, but I have a couple of other men in the area on standby. And I pref and preferably I would like to finish this mission at finish this mission now as before we're overrun by the chrysalids. So let's get ready to run. Uh, chrysalids that spawn out of fishes fish corpses usually don't move on the first turn they're well born. So that gives me a chance to quickly finish them off. So self is Self-destruct will be initiated momentarily once I manage to activate the bloody thing. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. And now we run like hell. Now we run like hell. Bradford, stop taking control away from me. Okay. Running gun active. And we're the... We're running the hell out of here. Go, 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 go! Fast on your bloody get! Don't stand over there, just. Alright, okay, I'm not gonna. Uh, to be quite, to be honest, I'm not gonna copy Orcus. I'm not gonna try talking like an orc for, for the majority of the videos because, a, I'm terrible at, at imitating them. B, I'm just. Well, I'm not. I'm not that funny. I mean, I can try, but. But once that, when I try. When I try something like that, it usually backfires and I end up saying something rather embarrassing for myself. Like that one time I actually got so drunk that I ended up finding my mother. I ended up losing and ended up in a body cast. Yes, well, sir. not a full body cast, I got my arm broken by my... I somehow managed to broke my own arm. This was due to my own stupidity or poor, or poor judgment of yes, distance. I still don't... I still think that I should have, if anything, get the number from the tree I hit. And actually, it, I kind of wish I told the story better. But uh, I think I have another drunken night story, which could be quite entertaining in its own right. Uh, as you can see, I have a... Well, you don't see, I, I'm telling the story, but... I have a cousin who is... Who is by considered a re responsible grown-up member of community and a very respected member of the community and on his well I'm not gonna I don't want to embarrass him too much so I'm gonna avoid talking about his his age but anyway at the time he was he was born around Easter so he's his birthday was coming and his parents decided to give him a present they left the house for a week, and like a reasonable and re reasonable and responsible child he is, he decided to throw a party. And a lot of us were, a lot of his friends and family closely, and relatives close to his age were invited. As we all gathered, we all brought the beer, vodka, wine, whatever alcohol we could find. The problem was none of us. None of us thought of getting some crackers or something that might yes, sir. help us better absorb the toxic sick liquids. So we ended up drunk. And once intoxicated, we all this we all came with a brilliant idea to visit my cousin's college. And considering it was close to Easter, we decided to do some Easter egg. We decided to decorate some Easter eggs. One of the said Easter eggs was a very the only Easter eggs that were on campus were a pair of eggs that belonged to a bronze statue of a Greek athlete that the campus had on its premises. So there we were. With a with an elegance of an angry gorilla, we snuck through the campus snuck by the campus security and and got towards the statue. The next morning the said statue had its Easter eggs decorated very badly by us. And I'm still at... Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant to use. The said Easter eggs were fucked. Okay. 
Okay, not that word. Um, where was I? The said Easter eggs were somehow managed to shine brightly through the night. And the campus faculty was not very pleased with that. I can tell you. Luckily, we, were, we weren't caught, so my cousin avoided be expulsion, prison, or a lot of criminal charges for vandalism and, well, breaking and entering. I'm not so lucky. I usually get charged with attempted murder, failed attempted murder. Actually, it's not attempted murder. I just get stopped by the police, so... So, I mean, it's... I usually am very effective, effective at killing people, but when... I'm not very good at subtlety. So, in most cases, the cops do find... Stop me. In most cases, I am stopped by the police or any able-bodied person. And I'm not sure why do why is everyone so mad at it? I'm not certain why people are get mad when I do it. If a person's an asshole and I start beating him, beating the said person, trying to suffocate the said person, or set the said person on fire, why is everyone mad when I actually do something about this the said asshole? Seriously. I'm doing everyone a favor. Why are you angry? Rolling. Well, that's beside the point. As you can see, the crystal had spawned from the big fish, so we should probably be able to finish him off relatively easily. If we're fast enough, that is. And we have some distance between us and the chrysalids inside the ship, so let's get out of here before we all die! Come on, come on, come on. Uh, come on, think of something that would make you run faster. Location uh, confirmed. think it's your grand- Think it- Think it's your grandparents butt naked trying to have sex with you. Come on, come on. Look at him sprint. See? See, nothing- Everything can be solved with some good old-fashioned sexual harassment. Sure. And honestly, I wonder why people get mad when I mention that- I, Actually, I'm not gonna question it. Se Mama did always told me. N Mama always told me not to mention someone's naked grandmother. Well, at the funeral or any other place, to be honest. But yeah, I understand that pleasant. It's not very pleasant thinking of your deceased relatives in a very naked manner. But wow, I'm just creeping myself out now. Okay, let's try thinking of something more pleasant to think about. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's sacrifice the... Well, let's sacrifice the manics to see if there's something in front of us. Okay, nothing... Good. Nicholas bounce! Okay. Patrick, wait for your mama. She needs protection. She, you know she's a cripple. Okay, come on. Sniper, go. Van Damme, you can... I know you can probably kick everyone away, but... Let's do this. Well, you're not... Okay, you're ma you're not the kicker, you're more of a stretcher, but still. You're still needed, Van Damme, so... Get your gear... Get your gear on. Get your butts in gear. I I'm not sure. Okay, so much for movie... Roger that. Movie catchphrases, let's get out of here. Okay. Good positioning, smart tactics, and we're... And we're safe. Out. And Mama Mabek is crippled, has amnesia, amnesia, and she is still kicking ass. Off. Good job, Mrs. Beck. You're a credit to the entire team. Even though your son is a useless moron. Shut up. Listen. Okay. Okay, I... I might be I might be starting a mutiny pretty soon, so let's not discuss how I run my men, how I run my men, how I manage my human resources. Even though most of them are, oh come on, even though most of them are basically stormtroopers when it comes to when it comes to aiming or shooting, but they don't. Well, most of them panic easily, and they are. Relatively squishy, but we made it through the through the end of the episode, and that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna move everyone with as closer to the exit as possible, so so that everyone else with 
who is out of range of movement can easily enter and so we can evacuate. Okay. Come on. Come on. Move, move, move. Okay. I usually build it. I usually hate using my non-custom non characters on missions, but I'm glad I took this one. This is old trooper with me on this one. Good copy. Moving on target. I mean, everyone else is a custom character apart from the assault and one of the met and one of the medics. I mean, uh, Lance Corporal Cloud is a custom character, but okay, I don't care how many of them are spawning. They'll be dead in a matter of seconds. Jesus. Why do you... Bradford, why do I keep you in? No, seriously, Strike Bradford, one. why do I Air keep you in? You're on staff. Position. You're you pretty to much to useless. Let's late. do everyone else. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Moving. I think I came in with eight people, and eight people left. I'm on it, Commander. So let's see. Let's do a head count. Six. No, 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 no. Where's Beck? Miss Beck? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everyone's out, the mission's over, and let's go with a cutscene. Burn, baby, burn. I kind of wish I could use music on this one, but I'm not sure if this is going to get abused by copyright infringement, so I'm not, I'm not too keen on using music. So anyway, this is... The last episode of the Newfoundland Trilogy. I hope you enjoyed it. And on the next episode, I'll try to be more humorous and entertain you better. And on the next episode, we'll have base management. So this is going to be either really boring, really stupid, and absolutely not worth the effort of watching. But still, if you are interested in helping me grow as a YouTuber or a commentator, please do subscribe or leave a comment in a predictable area, in a predicted area so I can read it. But before that, I'll give a quick... Well, anyway, I'm gonna upgrade my soldiers after the mission's done, so... In the next episode, I will promote the soldiers and tell you my general opinion of why, if, why am I upgrading them to a such a level. <laughs> anyway. Remember. The, and, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. My name has been Big Dummy. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, or just leave a comment and let me know what what can I do to improve. Thank you for watching, and good night.